Hello students, welcome to NIOS Education Point. Today I am going to share a solved team of mathematics whose code is 311 for those who haven't done their maths TMA. This is for uh, April and October 2023 batch. So without wasting any more time, let's start. So you can see that uh, this is our TMA uh, of uh, mathematics. So without wasting any more time, let's start. We have chosen from question number A1, we have chosen part B. The question is each side of an equilateral triangle substance an angle of 60 degree at uh, the top of uh, a towel of a height h meter located at the center of the triangle. If A is the length of the side of the rectangle of the triangle and then establish the relation between A and H. So the answer for this is this. You can make this diagram to uh, get uh, good marks. Uh, after that you will write let O be the center of uh, the equilateral triangle ABC and OP be the tower of height H. Then each of the triangles PAB, PBC and PCA are equilateral and thus PA equals to PB equals to AB equals to A. In triangle ABC, OA is the bisector of angle A. So OA divided by A by 2 equals to second 30 degree. Uh, equals to OA, OA equals to uh, A by 2 2 by uh, square root of 3 equals to A square root 2 of 3. Now from right angle triangle POA a p a a square a equals to o p square equals to o a square implies that a square equals to h square plus a square by 3 implies that 2 a square by 3 equals to h square implies that 2 a square equals to 3 h square so uh, our question number one is completed now let's move uh, to question number two in question number two also, we have selected uh, option B. The question is, uh, in a class of 100 students, 55 students have passed in mathematics and 67 students have passed in physics. If number of a student fails, in, uh, mm, if number of a student fails, then identify the numbers of a student passed in physics only so answer you will write that let p be the number of students who passed in physics and m be the number of students who passed in maths then number of students who passed in physics n by p equals to 67 then number of students who have passed in mathematics n uh, uh, n m equals to 55 number of students who passed both physics and maths are given by uh, number of uh, uh, n p p intersection m we know n uh, in bracket you will write p union m uh, equals to p uh, n p plus n m minus n p intersection m substituting the given values we get 100 um, equals to 55 plus 77 minus n p intersection m n p intersection m equals to 122 
minus 100 equals to 22. Now number of students who passed only in physics equals to number of students passed in physics minus number of students passed in both physics and maths equals to 67 minus 22 equals to 45. Number of students who passed only in physics equals to 45. So we got the answer of question number 2 also. Now let's move to question number 3. In 3 we have selected part part B. So the question is calculate the greatest integer which divides 101 to the power 100 minus 1. So the answer for this is given a given is to 100 101 to the power 1 or to the power 100 minus 1 it can be written as 1 plus 100 to the power 100 to the power 100 minus 1 since 1 into x to the power n n co x into to the power o plus nc1 uh, x to the power 1 plus nc2 uh, to the uh, x to the power 2 uh, plus dot 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 plus n to the power n z uh, x n aapko ye copy kar lena acche se 1 plus 100 uh, into the power 100 minus 1 equals to 100 co uh, 100 to the power 0 plus 100 co c1 uh, to the power into 100 to the power 1 then you copy this equals to 1 plus 100 c1 uh, to the uh, in multiplied into 100 plus 1 plus you uh, copy this then you will write 100 into 100 plus 100 uh, c2 to uh, into 100 uh, square plus uh, dot 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 they can fill like 100 uh, plus 100 c 100 100 to the power 100 so you will write to this and copy you can copy it uh, in this easily it is very clear you can understand now in uh, you will write a uh, uh, 100 square uh, in bracket you will write uh, 1 plus 100 c 2 plus uh, 100 uh, 3 q uh, 3 to the uh, 3 c 300 plus dot 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 plus 100 c 100 100 uh, to the power 98 now you will write this is divisible by 10000 does it will be divisible by 100 and 1000 also therefore the greatest integer divides the number is 10,000. So, so we got the answer for this also. You can copy this uh, equation. Okay, this is very simple and very short. Now let's move on to question number 4. In question number 4, we have selected part A. Option number A, which is uh, how many, how many 5 letters words containing three vowels and three constant can be formed using the letter word equation so that the two constant occurs together this is our question okay so the answer is uh, the given word is equation total number of uh, letters available in the word equation is equals to say, eight we can see from the word that there are five vowels in the equation that is uh, u a i o e a e and there are three constant that in the word equation that is q t n we need to find the total number of words of five letters containing three vowels and two constant Therefore, number of ways to select three vowels uh, is equal to 5p3. 
you will write uh, like this five will be uh, written up uh, uh, and three will be written down substitute okay and this is super substitute now you will write using the formula n c r uh, equals to n divided by n minus r exclamation mark r exclamation mark we got uh, uh, we got a number of ways to select three vowels 5c3 uh, is equal to 5 by 5 minus 3 uh, exclamation mark 3 exclamation mark number of ways to select three vowels equals to 5 minus 3 5c3 three, three equals to 5 exclamation mark 2 exclamation mark into 3 exclamation mark computing the fractional uh, fraction the real we get uh, number of ways uh, to select uh, three vowels 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 2 into 1 into 3 into 2 into 1 equals to 5 into 2 equals to 10 okay so for constant we have number of uh, way number of ways to select uh, two constant is 3 c2 number of ways to select uh, two constant 3 3 it's 3 exclamation mark divided by 1 exclamation mark into 2 exclamation mark we get number of ways to select uh, two constant uh, 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 2 1 into 2 into 1 that is 3 since two constant uh, occurs uh, uh, always occurs uh, together uh, so we will consider two constant uh, uh, consonant uh, as one number of ways uh, to arrange these five letter consider two constant uh, as uh, one four uh, exclamation mark into two number of ways to arrange uh, these five letter consider two consonant as one equals to four into three into two into one into two into one forty eight. <coughs> Hence, the number of uh, different uh, words uh, by these uh, five uh, letters is equal to 10 into 3 into 48 equals to 1440. Therefore, the correct answer is equal to uh, 1440. So, we have done question number 4 also. Now, let's move on question number 5. In 5, we have selected question number 5A. As I told you, uh, we have selected question number 5 from question number 5 uh, option A that is find the sum of uh, the series. The series is uh, 1 plus uh, 1 plus A divided by 2 exclamation mark plus uh, 1 plus A plus A square uh, divided by 3 uh, exclamation mark plus 1 plus a plus uh, uh, a square plus a cube uh, divided by four exclamation mark uh, uh, dot 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 okay so the answer for this is uh, here pn equals to one plus a plus uh, a square plus a cube plus uh, a to the power 4 plus a uh, dot 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 a n divided by a n is a exclamation mark in is in g p sum of g p is equal to a uh, in bracket you will write r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 t n equals to 1 uh, 1 uh, a to the power n minus uh, bracket close uh, divided by a minus uh, 1 1 into n exclamation mark then you have to write summation tn this uh, symbol is called summation you will uh, uh, try to do like this equals to 1 by y a minus 1 uh, summation uh, summation upside you will write uh, uh, Above this, you will write 
you will give uh, above uh, this uh, submission sign uh, and infinity sign and below this you will uh, write n equals to 1 then a to the power n divided by n exclamation mark minus 1 by n exclamation mark in next line you will write uh, submission uh, t n equals to 1 by a minus 1 open your bracket then again you will open one bracket is smaller than that now inside this bracket you will write a minus a divided by 1 uh, exclamation mark plus a square uh, by 2 exclamation mark plus a cube equals to uh, divided by 3 exclamation mark plus dot 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 uh, infinity you will close the smaller bra bracket in minus you will again open a uh, smaller bracket now inside this you will write 1 divided by 1 exclamation mark plus 1 divided by 2 exclamation mark plus dot 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 infinity then you will close two brackets that you have opened one for this and one for the bigger one whole next line you will write x to the power e to the power x equals to 1 into 1 plus x plus x square to um, by divided by 2 exclamation mark plus 3 x x cube uh, divided by 3 exclamation mark plus dot 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 infinity in the next line you will write e to the power a equals to 1 plus a plus a square by 2 exclamation mark plus a cube plus uh, divided by 3 exclamation mark plus dot 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 infinity now in the next line you will write e to the power 1 equals to 1 plus 1 plus 1 by 2 exclamation mark plus 1 by 3 exclamation mark plus dot 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 infinity in the next line you will write again submission plus uh, t n equals to 1 divided by a minus 1 you will open a bracket e a uh, minus 1 minus uh, e in bracket you will write a small bracket uh, uh, first bracket e minus 1 and then close both brackets then you will write uh, submission t n equals to 1 divided by a minus 1 uh, then again you will in bracket you will write e to the power a minus e so we have finished number 5 also you can copy this simply and get uh, marks so now let's move to question number 6 in question number 6 we have uh, chosen part number b that is Puneet tosses two dice randomly the number appearing on the faces of both the dice are different Calculate the problem probability of the following event if number one the sum of the numbers on the device is two the device is four question number two the sum of the numbers on the device is eight number three the sum of the numbers on the device is twelve Number four, the sum of the number on the device is multiple of four. Number five, the sum of the number of uh, the sum of the uh, number on the device is an odd number. Number six, the sum on of the numbers on the device is a prime number. So, its be a, a, an answer for this is also with as i will show you we will show you so so the answer is this puneet tosses two dice randomly the total numbers of outcomes n into s equals to 36 now you copy this uh, everything inside uh, this bracket you can see it very clearly you can post uh, this video and uh, copy this all and then you will write number one the sum of the 
uh, the sum of the numbers on the dice is 4. So let E1 equals to event of getting sum 4 in that implies to 1, uh, 1, 3 or 2, 2 or 3, 1 number of favorable outcome uh, n n in bracket E1 um, equals to 3 total number of outcomes uh, equals to 36 probability of getting 4 equals to P E to, um, 1 equals to number of favorable outcomes, uh, total number of outcomes uh, equals to 3 by 36. So, the answer will come 1 by 12. N then, number 2, the sum of the numbers on the dice is 8. So, you will also do uh, the same. Here, you will write uh, 2, 6. 3, 5, 4, 4, 5, 3, 6, 2. Then here also you will write favorable outcomes 5 because 5 is coming more times. Okay, and then total number of outcomes is 36 as you know, then probability, then you will uh, put the formula here. Then you will divide and the answer will come like 5 by 36 is the answer for 2. Then number of uh, number 3, the sum of the numbers on the device is uh, 12. Uh, here also uh, getting the 12, uh, only one probability 6 is to 6. Okay, the favorable outcome is 1. Okay, so yeah, then he will uh, know you know that the total outcomes is 36 then you will put the formula and it will come 1 by 36 if uh, you you can, can't understand anything you can simply copy and get marks number 4 the sum of the number on the dice is a multiple of 4 multiple of 4 which uh, can occur on the throw of dice uh, are 4 8 12 Sum of two dice, sum of two dice is four occurs in three ways. Sum for sum eight can occur in five ways, and the sum twelve can occur in one way. Uh, let if e four equals to event of getting sum of the number on giving the dice is the multiple of four implies that one by three. 2, uh, 2, uh, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 6, 3, 5, 4, 4, 5, 6, 2, 6, 6. Number of favorable outcome is equal to 9. Okay. Total number of outcomes is uh, 36 again. Again, you will put the formula and write this and 9, 9 by 36. The answer will come 1 by 4. Now let's move on 5, the, it, it says the number of the, the sum of the numbers on the dice is an odd number. Let the, uh, let uh, the getting sum of the, uh, on the dice is an odd number uh, implies that 1, 2, 1, 4, 1, 6, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 5, 3, 2, uh, 3, 4, 3, 6, 4, 1, 4, 3, 4, 5, 5, 2, 5, 4, 5, 6, 6, 1, 6, 6, 5. Number of uh, favorable outcomes is uh, equals to 18. You know total number of outcome is 36. You will again uh, put the formula and you will get the answer that is uh, 18 by 36 you will simplify that uh, and you will get 1 by 2. The last one is the sum of the numbers on the dice is the prime number. Let E6 equals to event of getting sum of the numbers on the dice is a prime number implies that 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2, uh, 1, uh, 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 6, 2 comma 1, 2 comma 3, 2 comma 5, 2, comma, uh, 3, comma, 2, 3, comma, 4, 4, comma, 1, 4, comma, 3, 5, comma, 2, 5, comma, 6, 6, comma, 1, 6, comma, 5. You can copy this.
okay pause my video and copy this all now the outcome the favorable outcome is 15 and total outcomes is 36 then again you will put the formula and you will get to 15 by 36 simply after simplifying it you will get the answer as 5 by 12 so we So our TMA is solved now and we can end this video now. If you haven't subscribed my channel, subscribe NIS Education Point now because many of the solved TMA is left is coming soon and share it with your friends and if you have any TMA left, you can comment us. We will provide you solved TMA.